We're back with WSJ Lunch Break and Wendy Bounds. Wearable tech from smart glasses to watches is expected to become a $10 billion industry by 2016, but is now actually the time to outfit yourself. We've got Kelly Grant, our personal finance correspondent here on Lunch Break, over from Market Watch. She's got some answers. Google, Microsoft, Apple, they're all digging into this market, Kelly, but I want you to walk us through kind of the nuts and bolts of, of what's coming. What are we? What, what are these wearable technologies going to do? Well, a lot of them are still rumored, so we're not quite clear on that, but the idea is going to be, you know, with the exception of Google Glasses, which are going to be actual glasses, that most of this is going to be something that looks like a wristwatch, mm -hmm. a wrist-worn technology that, of course, it tells time, but it probably also does a lot of functions that your phone does, too, so it'll alert you to an incoming phone call, uh, sort of syncs with your phone in that way, incoming emails, reminds you of calendar appointments, you can check your Facebook messages, uh, get new tweets, kind of all of those interesting things your phone does, but on a handy little wrist display. So basically, we're no longer going to have to reach in our back pocket to get something we just twist our wrist up because that extra motion was too much for us to it's, have to do that. It's too much, but I guess <laughs> it's too arduous. Because you always see people out with their phones now. It's yeah. a little, maybe a little more subtle. subtle. There. Oh, that's just what we need now. People at the restaurants just low oh, glancing at their wrists. All right, let's talk about what's already on the market though. We've been seeing a lot of these uh, so-called smart watches, which is kind of a misnomer anyway to call them a, a watch because that's sort of not the main function, but they, they do everything. Uh, they, they, they do, fitness is a big aspect of them. We're already seeing a lot it of those. It can be, yes. We've seen actually a number of these devices have been out for years. One of them, you know, from a couple of years ago was Motorola's Moto Active, which is a $250 device. It's an MP3 player, it's a fitness tracker, and if you have an Android phone, it alerts you to those missed calls, emails, calendar appointments, all of those things. So, you know, that's been out there for a while. We've also seen a lot of Kickstarter type projects that have been coming out just this spring. Uh, there were maybe a dozen or so watches that showed up at the Consumer Electronics Show in January. We've got the $150 Pebble, there's, you know, $250 Martian. There's all sorts of interesting watches that are out there uh, that are possibilities, but they're from smaller players, so you might need to be a little bit more cautious about how well does it work, and is it worth the money that you're shelling out? And does it and does it do too many things? I mean, that can be one problem with some, I mean, some of these gadgets, is that if they do too much, they become too complicated, people don't want to use them. They're sort of trying, I guess, to figure out which of these gadgets will will focus in on what particular, uh, you know, type of, of, of of device it's going to be. Exactly. Some of them are really complex. You can even, for a few of them, actually answer your phone just by, you know, voice commanding it at your yeah. wrist, uh, which might be a little much for some people. <laughs> I think right. that'd be a little much for me, honestly. Right. Um, so it remains to be seen really what people are going to be interested here. And of course, we are waiting to see, you know, with a major player like Apple, I mean, if there's something like an iWatch coming out, I think that's you know, just and by value that it's Apple is going to draw some Right, some and same thing with Google. I mean, with the Google Glass, I mean, you know, especially that the, the video component of the Google Glass is, is such a big selling point because you're not have to, having to actually sort of lift something up in front of your face. You can just sort of tap it, and what you see is what you do and what you get. Uh, and Google has a cool factor to it, as Apple does. Now, Microsoft getting in on this, not the same cool factor maybe, but maybe That's they have an opportunity to do it. That's they, they certainly don't have that cool factor right away, but, you know, if they come up with something really innovative, then the analysts we talked to said you know, that's a great opportunity for them to position themselves as sort of that must-have gadget. Because for all of these, you know, just being an early adopter and having a smartwatch is going to get you that sort of cool early yeah. adopter vibe. But to some extent, with so many players on the market, it's about not just having a smartwatch, but having the right one, which may mean waiting. So and there's a bigger player that's got something else. And one that looks good. All right, Kelly Grant, thanks so much for being with us. You can read more about that on marketwatch.com.